Thanks so much for joining me on the Slice of Healthcare podcast. How are you today? Good. Really excited to be here. Yeah, I'm excited to have you on. I, I think we should dive right into it. I'm, I'm hoping you can tell the audience a little bit about your background, and then we'll talk about Little, uh, little Otter. Yeah, so my background, um, I have a computer science degree from UNC Chapel Hill. I'm originally from North Carolina, although I'm in San Francisco right now, and I've been on the West Coast for a while. Um, and always had a love for design and science um, and ended up actually having my own freelance design firm and went into web development right after school, um, but really felt like I wanted to get into tech um, and felt like I could really apply a lot of my experience into building products that would help people. Uh, so I ended up working at a startup as a product designer and then I was at Palantir. Uh, as a product manager for many, many years, working across every different type of industry, got a great view of what it's like to work at very large companies and also the need to leverage the amount of data that they were collecting in a usable way. Um, and then I was one of the first employees at the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative when it first started. Uh, and to me, that work has the biggest parallels to what we're doing at Little Otter and I think really made me confident that Little Otter um, could work and that with me and my mom, Dr. Helen Egger, who's my co-founder, uh, that we could bring our skills together uh, to make something really amazing. So at CZI, I led the infectious disease program and that was really about how do you take amazing scientists um, and amazing engineers and product designers, development partnerships, uh, and take work that was really stuck in academia at you know, Stanford, Berkeley, UCSF, and bring it out and make it accessible to laboratories, patients, et cetera, that didn't have access. So really democratizing access to high quality software. Can you quickly talk about what it's like to work with your mom? Because I think some, some entrepreneurs out there, they want to be able to do that. And some do effectively and some can't do it effectively. What, what is that dynamic like? If you can quickly share uh, some, some feedback on that. It's awesome. Well, so Little Otter is something that we had been talking about for many, many, many years. Growing up, uh, my mom was head of child psychiatry at Duke and everywhere that you went, when someone found out that she was a child psychiatrist, they would ask, should I worry about my kid's behavior? is this normal? What should I do? Where do I find a child psychiatrist? Like it was clear that there was a massive amount of need that people weren't talking about. Um, and that, you know, it's great if you know a Dr. Egger, but most people don't. I was lucky enough to get support and care because of who she was. Um, and many people we knew were, uh, but that had to be accessible to more families. Working with her is definitely like, I think it works so well because we have such different expertise and experience. She leads the clinical team and the scientific research backing our product. And I really manage on the business development and product side. Um, and because we have those separate lanes, it's just really exciting because we really are educating each other all the time. Very cool. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's really cool to be able to work with um your mom on like a, on a day-to-day -day basis and really build something special and obviously something that's important to both of you. And uh, I mean, clearly too, for her, right? Like she spent her whole life in this space and now to be on like the tech side of it, which that's what I'm really, I'm very excited about how you're seeing a lot of healthcare professionals dive into the tech side a little bit more, taking those years of experience and saying, how can I apply those to build a really good tech company that solves a lot of the problems I solved like in person and, and things like that. So really cool. Yeah. You just raised a round of funding uh, back in February, you said, is when, when mm -hmm. you officially closed. Can you talk yeah. us through some of, obviously, you know, many reasons to raise funding, but some of the things that you're really excited about now that this round is closed that uh, you're ready to, to execute on? Yeah, well, one of the biggest milestones of the fundraising was that Helen, my mom, was actually going to join the company full time. So she was, you know, kind of part time as an advisor before we raised. Um, and she agreed that if I closed the fundraising round, she would come work with me and 100% of her time. Um, and so obviously, she had a giant job at NYU um, and decided to make the jump. So it really meant that we could kind of jumpstart the entire process. Uh, we launched three weeks ago in California, and that was the primary kind of goal with the funding round that we got to. So 
build the first version, um, the MVP, iterate on the pilot that we were already running in California, hire our first set of providers and focus on how do we make sure that we're developing something that parents love and need. Very exciting. What, what are you really looking forward to? Uh, you know, we're, we're already halfway through 2021. What are you really looking forward to as we move into the second half of the year as it relates to Little Otter, I guess? I think, so I have a background um, more kind of on the enterprise side of product development. What's been really rewarding and exciting about working on a a direct-to-consumer, direct-to-families product is how much data and information that we get from the get-go, right? So we're learning on a speed that I couldn't imagine to be possible. Every single week, we learn more about how families are using the service, what they want, you know, how our providers are interacting with it. And so it just gives us the ability as a small team to just iterate incredibly quickly. Um, and I just can't kind of wait to see already in the past three weeks, we've made so much progress. It's like, what is it gonna be, you know, heading into the school year, which I think is our next big milestone um, for families and children. Really exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to continue to see the uh, the growth of the company. Love the name, by the way. Super cool. Um, I think everyone thinks otters are like the cutest things ever. So the fact that you incorporated that into your name, I love it. They're very cuddly too, right? They like, there's all the pictures of them hugging and, you know, holding hands while floating in rivers. And so that go. was very important. Yeah, yeah, especially when you're dealing with children, right? Like they need that type of uh, imaging. Very cool. Well, the other thing about our imaging too, which is interesting, is like, it's very upsetting to see pictures of crying children, right? And we show a lot of young children having very extreme emotions. And so it was important for us, even before we raised this funding, to hire an illustrator um, and create kind of a world that families would live in so we could show and express complicated emotions um, without showing, you know, upsetting images of kids. Interesting. So what was the primary, so you hired an illustrator. What were some of the projects that they worked on? This is, I feel like a lot of people think about going down this route to kind of create their own like imagery, but uh, obviously given your background, you, you placed importance on that, like really early on. What are some of the projects that you had this illustrator, I guess, work on? Well, a lot of it came out of the idea of like the importance of children's books for kind of children's education and learning, right? That's a great medium of how do you talk about complex issues with kids and make things feel relatable. Um, and also in actual therapy, there's a lot of you know worksheets, images and stuff. So we use this person to kind of do our initial advertising, but also in the product itself. Uh, so using a lot of specific illustrations to accompany our resources, um, you know, our questionnaires, et cetera, to kind of bring this idea of fun and like you're entering into Little Otter's care den. Very cool. No, that's, that's interesting. I like that approach. What, what is, uh, so just so the audience knows too, this is our first episode together. The goal is to have you come on again and we can talk about other areas of the business. Um, I would love to have an episode with you and your mom and we can kind of go back and forth, the three of us. I think that would be a ton of fun, but, uh, you know, the the plan is to have you back on again. This is really a short and sweet version to kind of talk about the recent funding round, talk about you and your background and some of the cool, exciting uh, projects you're working on at Little Otter. Um, Where can people learn more about the company? Uh, You can go to our website, littleotterhealth.com. We also are on Instagram, all social channels. We're doing a lot and providing a lot of free resources to families on our blog and also on our Instagram. Um, So this afternoon, actually, we have, you know, an Instagram live where my mom and our head of parenting experience is answering questions about summer. Um, So there's a lot of ways that you can learn more about us. I love it. And I'll throw that in the show notes so the audience will be able to easily find you. Very cool. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you again so much for joining me on the podcast. I look forward to future episodes. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Bye.